Okay, hi everyone, it's Dina here from The Fat Program. Now, I just wanted to quickly show you, I've raced in the door, I haven't got any food prepared, and I'm craving something like cauliflower, fried rice. I want fried rice, the kids made it the other day and I couldn't eat it. So anyway, so I've just quickly whipped up, and I wanted to show you just some onion and garlic in the frying pan. Now, if the garlic sticks, just add a little bit of water just to get it off the bottom of the pan and just, you know, obviously to scrape off all that flavour. Now, if you're like me, I like to cook mine a little bit. My onion, I like things, you know, pretty well cooked. I've done my pot of cauliflower. I've already made it into rice. And I'm just going to tip it in there, in the frying pan. Now, there's still some chunks in there, as you can see. The there's still a chunk in there. You can just cut that up and um, put it back in the frying pan. And this is all I'm doing. I've got nothing in here. It's not really sticking to the bottom. And I'm just going to move that around a little bit. And I'm going to let that cook for a couple of minutes. Once it's cooked, and not before, I don't want to put the tamari in there beforehand. Um, just, I don't know, I prefer to do it after. It's still, it's still not sticking. See, there's a little bit of brown on the bottom of the pan there, but it doesn't really stick. And you just keep stirring that up. And when you think that that's cooked to how much you want it cooked, so the longer you leave it, the softer it's going to get. And I like mine a little bit crunchier. I don't like it to be mushy. Um, and it really only takes a couple of minutes to do this. I'll show you. I'm still just stirring it around. And there's a lot in there, so that'll make a few, that'll make a few meals. Obviously, when you're doing this for stage two, measure out your cauliflower beforehand. So whatever your weight is for your allowance for that day, make the cauliflower, you know, if it's 140 grams and you've got, you know, whatever, times five, figure it out, do that many, do that much. And then you'll know when you're finished how to break it up into those portions later. Because obviously food weighs a little bit different once it's cooked. And honestly, the only thing I've got in here is garlic, onion. Nothing nicer than the smell of garlic and onion, is there? Love it. Love the smell of garlic and onion. Um, right, so that's just about cooked. And then all I'm going to do is... Now, obviously, tamari's really strong, so just put in... I'm just putting in a little bit. Mix it up. Put in a little bit. Mix it up. I'm actually cooking and doing this all at the same time. I'm getting hotter and hotter, look. So because to me, tamari is really, really strong and whatever recipe I've seen for anybody that uses tamari, I have it. I always have it and then if I want to, I'll add a little bit more and a little bit more as you taste it. There you go. That's all I'm gonna put in there of the tamari and it's not, it's not too dark. And then if I feel like it later, when I'm eating it, I'll put some more in there. And that's it. Cauliflower fried rice. Easiest thing you're ever going to make. Give it a go, guys. See you later.